Welcome in, welcome in, Mazbet party people. So, we have a proportion problem here. My question to you is, do you know the main idea behind proportions? Because this is an advanced proportion problem. This is where you have a triple ratio given to you. So what triple ratio means is if you look right there, two to four to five. Hmm, seems a little confusing, but if you know the basic idea, the main idea for proportions, this problem is still just as easy as any other proportion problem. So, what is that gonna be? What is that? The main idea behind proportions is this, compare the same things in the same way. Write that down, go ahead, reverse this or rewind this, compare the same things in the same way. If you're doing that, this problem is just as easy as any other proportion problem. Here we go. So the question is the first thing we should look at, the question sentence. Always do that. And it says, hey, how many orange gumballs are in the container? Okay, sounds good. We want to know how many orange gumballs. So just write that down. Just write that down. What do we want? We want blank orange gumballs. Orange is what we're looking for. Again, always turn your attention first to what you're looking for so that way you're not worried about the information or getting confused by it. So next up, what do we do next? Well, once we have what we want, then the next thing is, what do we have? What information is given to us to help us get to the number of orange gumballs? Here we go. So if I go ahead and start with the first sentence, it says there are three types of gumballs in a container, red, purple, and orange. So okay, we know that there are red, orange, and uh, purple. Cool, sounds good. It says the container has a total of 220 gumballs. Okay, so although we're looking for the number of orange, it does tell us, it does tell us right here that we have a total of 220 gumballs. So let me write that down right here, 220 total. Now the reason I wrote that right below this is because we're, again, we're looking for the actual number of orange gumballs and we're told that there are 220 actual gumballs. So a total of 220. So those two things are related. The number of orange and the total number, those are related in that sense. And then notice in the next part of this sentence, notice here that we're told that the ratio of red gumballs to purple gumballs to orange gumballs is two to four to five. What does that mean? Well, before I even interact with that information, I saw the word ratio. And given that we have the word ratio and we're looking to solve for a piece, proportions, proportion, right? In any proportion problem, we would always set up our proportion based on the question right here. We're looking for orange and we have 220 total. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a proportion right over here and I'm gonna say X because it's gonna represent orange and then we're gonna have 220 and that's gonna represent the total. So all I need to do, look, this is how easy it can be. All we need to do is what? Main idea compare the same things in the same way. If we're doing that, this is still easy, I promise you. Watch, I'm gonna set it up on the right side like this, and I'm gonna say, I need orange up here and total down here. If I have that, I can solve this. So we're told again, the ratio of red to purple to orange is two to four to five. So let me write that down. So over here, I'm gonna zoom in. So red, purple, and orange, what I have given to me is that red is represented by two, right there, it goes in order. Purple is represented by four, again, it goes in order, and then orange is represented by five. Orange was the last one, so five is representative of that. So if you take a look at that, oh, look at that, okay. We have orange right here, we got orange, it's five. It is five. So what I have is five right over here that I can plug in. I can plug in five. Let me just go ahead and highlight that for you. Boom, that's orange, that works, right? That's in the right spot. But how the heck are we supposed to get total? Well, what does total mean? Add them up, that's all that means. That's all that means, that's all you have to do and that's gonna give us a great time, watch. Boom, if I have all of these together, the total, the total, Two plus four is six plus five is 11. That's it. That's it. That's seriously it. If you want to make sure that you have a total, just add them all up. And since we're doing a proportion problem and we're trying to find the total for one of the pieces, add up all the pieces. So there it is. That's 11. And now we have it in the correct spot. So 
what does this mean for us? What are we supposed to be doing now? Well, my party people, here's what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to solve this proportion. And there are plenty of different ways that we can do it. One of the main ways is going to be cross, multiply, and divide. We've heard of that before, right? But another way that we can do it is by comparing the values. What do I mean by that? Remember, compare the same things in the same way. It sounds like a song, right? Take a look here. If I compare, I can try to get from 5 to x somehow, but that's going to be the same comparison, again, right to left. If I compare right to left, it'll be right to left everywhere else. So I'm trying to figure out how I can go from 5 to x, but that's going to be the same way as going from 11 to 220. Do you see what ratio that is or what scale or what multiplying factor that is? That's 20. Because 11 times 2 is 22, and there's a 0, so that's not going to be 2. It's going to be 20. If I multiply by 20, that's how I go from the right to the left. And so with that, that's going to be the same idea here. 5 times 20 is going to give me the answer, and 5 times 20 is 100. But that's not as important, again, that is not as important as the setup. We needed to have the setup done correctly for us to even be able to calculate the problem. So remember, when you're setting up proportions, we are comparing the same things in the same way. And that's how we get B, 100. So I want you to take a second, actually. Go ahead and leave a comment on this video. Let me know if you want me to film another one of these, if you think that this was still confusing. Because I know that, obviously, you know we all learn at different paces. And I want to make sure that I'm meeting you where you are. So let me know. Or if you don't want to wait for me to shoot a whole new video, I have a full program that's actually free to try if you didn't notice all the way down here and over here. I have a full program free to try for a full week, no credit card required. So you can scan that QR code right up there. You can go to that link. But either way, once you're done signing up, shoot me a text at 567-698-8867. Introduce yourself to me. Let me know if you have any you know, questions signing up or any trouble because I'll help you out. But I'll see you in there because we have over 15,000 problems. Let's get to it.